What's up everyone? This is Christy with Love and Climate here at the Asia Society Museum to premiere their exhibit, Coal and Ice. Hey, how's it going? My name's Noah, I'm 31, and I'm excited to be here at the Asia Society today to see an exhibit on the changes climate change is having on glaciers. And why should someone date me? Some have told me I'm funny occasionally, others have said handsome, you know, combination of those two things, but most importantly, I care about the climate. Hi, my name is Hope. I'm 30, wow. What I'm expecting from the exhibit? I just, honestly, I saw this in the subway for a while and I've been wanting to go and then I saw y'all post about it and I was like, ah, perfect opportunity. Why should someone date me? Okay. I think I'm pretty fun and caring person. Got multiple things going on, care about the planet and the environment, but I'm also a performing artist. So, you know, you get like a mashup of interests. My name is Anicia, I'm 28. I'm really excited about the immersive part of the exhibit. I think it's gonna be super cool. And why should someone date me? I don't know, I'm nice, I'm fun, I'm smart, I'm cute, <laughs> like, I'm great. Hi, my name is Jennifer Perugi. I'm 28 years old and I'm very excited to be joining Love and Climate at the Coal and Ice exhibition at the museum today, especially considering that wind power has surpassed coal in electrical generation this past April. Why should someone date me? I'd say I'm a definitely an outgoing person and I definitely do believe that life is sweeter and you're able to share it with someone that cares about you and you equally care about them. Thank you all so much for coming today to Asia Society's Coal and Ice exhibition. We only have around 15 minutes to get through this exhibit, but you guys are going to have an amazing taste of what this immersion is to learn about climate change through the lens of community. Our dates are going to be Anicia and Jennifer, Hope and Noah. So let's get started. Next, this is your find your action because while climate change is scary, we need to focus on solutions. So I love for each of you to pick which of these is your favorite action and tell your day why. You do business? I, I have been known to do some business. I'm gonna go around and ask people what they're choosing. Which, which one are you all choosing? I chose rainforests um, because I think we're both plant-based vegan and you help Slay. the rainforest a lot by reducing your meat intake, specifically beef. So I feel like we're already working on this. Yeah. And I pick food and restaurants. Other than the fact that I'm a little hungry right now, I think food is one of the biggest climate impacts and uh, what's not talked about enough. So I'm excited to uh, give it a little bit of a shout out. Sounds like there's some alignment happening here. What are y'all's decisions? Agriculture and also government relations. Oh, wow. How um, about you? Uh, looking at built environment. Okay, I mean, there's a lot of intersection between all three of those things. Day is going well. We saw some cool videos and pictures. Very stimulating conversation. He's from so many places, Switzerland, LA. He lives somewhere in a rainforest, Hawaii. So yeah, we're both like plant-based food. That's all I've got, because we've only known each other for like five minutes. <laughs> it's going terrible. No, <laughs> no, it's going great. Hope is amazing, very funny, plant-based, what? That's rare. She knows a lot about the different photos and videos that we're looking at here. She knew about photovoltaic cells, which is, I learned, solar. And yeah, I'm excited to see uh, what comes next. It's been about 17 minutes together, so. I'm enjoying it, definitely. You know, first dates, you're always a little nervous, but excited. So I think that's my general sense. Exciting getting to learn about a new person and they get to learn about me as well, so. The exhibit is like really interesting. I'm really enjoying it. And I think the date is going fine. She's really knowledgeable about wind, which is super cool. Choosing him. Choose him. Okay. What's what's um what is he saying to us? He or what are we saying to him? All right, everyone. 
fun. I hope you all enjoyed the exhibit. Come on back to Leo Cafe. We have some amazing vegan treats for you all. Tasty bowls, green tea, mochi cakes. And we have some juices, we got some mango lassies, um, and we got some crispy tofu wraps. So grab whatever you like here, enjoy, and then we are gonna call you all over for a debrief on your dates. So we are doing the debrief post day of colon ice with this lovely prospective couple. And so I just wanted to get, what are your initial thoughts and feelings about the exhibit? I loved it. I think there were some really impactful moments. The first exhibit that we saw, I felt really hit me, which was the videos of people returning to their homes that have been flooded. That really grounded you in like, this is not a theoretical problem, it's real and felt very human. So yeah, I, I loved it. I also thought it was really impactful. Uh, my favorite room or the room that I thought gave us the most, the biggest scare and the most hope was the uh, New York in 2050. You know, the juxtaposition of like what it can be and what it could be is pretty powerful. And I, I very much hope the back part of the room, not to ruin it for everyone, is, is the reality that we wake up in one day. Would you recommend this exhibit as a great date night spot for people? Yeah, totally. Especially because, you know, you can go through the exhibit and then chill out and have food here and like debrief on how things felt. And like the exhibit is enough to get the conversation started and to really make an impact. But it's not so long to where you're like, oh, this is a lot. I think it's just enough for a date. Yeah. I think everyone will enjoy the poster making station. It is very easy to use. We couldn't even succeed in kids mode. Amazing. On the count of three, it's going to be three, two, one, just a simple yes or no. So ready? Will you go on a second date? Three, two, one. So now that you all have gone on the amazing colon ice exhibition day, I would love to get some first reactions. What were your thoughts, your feelings about the exhibit? What did you love about it? I think I like experienced a lot of grief going through it, but at the end, it was it was it was hopeful, right? The like solar punk sort of stuff. I really liked it. I love that it gave uh, a lot of human element to these uh, issues and not just having it as a uh, far away. Um, we know this is bad, but we saw, you know, actual coal miners who were working uh, in the industry. Uh, so I thought that was a very important element and just learning more about the overall uh, issues associated with uh, coal. What's like an environmental action or resource that you want your date to know about? Ooh, okay, so that's what this is. <laughs> um, it's an action happening September 28th. If you're gonna be around um, in Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Army Terminal, it's about like centering the front line. It's at the end of climate week. So it's really like bringing like climate week, which has become like super corporate back into the communities where like climate solutions, you know, come from. So yeah, September 28th. That's excellent. Yeah, it's a festival. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> that's, that's it. You should come. <laughs> <laughs> on the count of three, you'll say yes or no on going on a second date. So ready? Three, two, one. <laughs>